we're looking at energy transfer between trophic levels and the 10% rule today. So each energy transformation is about 10% efficient or so. So if you look at a thousand joules of light energy available, that's gonna bring us down to 100 joules and then only about 10 joules of energy are available um, to the primary um, consumer. Out of that, about nine joules are lost as energy to the environment and about one joule of energy is transferred to the, whoops, to the secondary consumer. And um, out of that, about 0.9 joules is lost as energy and 0.1 joules is available as food to the next carnivore and so on. So here's um, a caterpillar eating plants and there are 2000 joules um, available to the caterpillar. Um, 67 joules are lost as cellular respiration, 33 joules become um, new biomass and 100 joules are not assimilated at all. So that's down if you look at the new biomass down about an order of magnitude. Don't, you don't need to memorize any of this, but birds and mammals have um, an inefficiency of, a, of about 1% to 3% because of the high cost of endothermy. So you should know um, what endothermy means. So that means warm-blooded. So a warm-blooded organism um, keeps a, a stable body temperature as opposed to an ectotherm like a snake that keeps the same body temperature as um, the outside environment. So if it's 10 degrees out, then it's going to have a body temperature of about 10 degrees. If it's 20 degrees outside, it's going to have a body temperature of about 20 and so on. Whereas um, an endotherm is going to keep its body temperature um, stable. And so it takes, especially at this, you know, colder temperatures, it takes um, more energy to stay warm. Insects and other microorganisms have about 40% efficiency and fish about 10% efficiency. You don't need to memorize any of this, but just know that it takes um, more energy for an endotherm to um, stay stable. Okay, so this is an idea of an ecological um, pyramid. And so it's showing you the um, tropic level efficiency and how much energy is lost at each level. So here are the primary producers. And let's just assume there are 10,000 joules um, present in them. Only about, you take off a zero and you've got only about 1,000 joules of energy for the primary consumers. And 90% uh, of that is lost, right? So at each tropic level, we're losing about 90% of the energy and only about 10% of the energy makes it up to the next um, level. And so that's because energy transfers are not efficient and um, a lot of this energy is lost as heat. So trophic efficiency for, we're not looking at just mammals or just insects or whatever, but for each level it's somewhere um, between 5 and 20 percent typically if you look at all of the organisms. So that's just a, the 10 percent is just a very general um, rule. So you're just generally changing an order of magnitude with each tropic level. Um, biomass pyramids are very similar. Um, they're gonna look at dry mass as opposed to energy, um, but really you get the same kinds of numbers. You go from here to an order of magnitude smaller to almost an order of magnitude smaller, um, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes um, there are inverted um, biomass pyramids because the producers are consumed so quickly, um, it has a really, really fast turnover rate, but you probably won't see these. Um, okay, this one's really, this slide's really, really important. So this is showing you, you know how 90% of the energy is lost, it's heat at each level, right? Before it can go on to the next um, level of the ecosystem. This is showing you that if people eat um, plants, then there's a lot more energy to feed the people than if people eat something that ate the plants. So if we are um, meat eaters, there's a lot less energy available to us. And so we would have um, a smaller carbon footprint if we were all vegetarians. <laughs>